Welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Disney Parks exclusive Diamond Select Stormtrooper. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them if that's your sort of thing make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon so you stay notified when i do upload new content and if you do enjoy this video or any other content that i put out please remember to give them a thumbs up it's free and easy for you to do and it really helps the channel grow so with all that out of the way guys once again we're gonna be taking a look at the disney parks exclusive diamond select stormtrooper so this guy is a disney park slash shop disney exclusive and i have to shout out and thank my mom for this this was a christmas gift from my mom believe it or not i'm 24 years old and still opening up toys for christmas for my mom uh but it is a nice tradition in my opinion that i absolutely love um and it just reminds me of being a kid and getting a toy from my mom or multiple toys from my mom for christmas um and it just always gives me that warm feeling inside so it's always nice to continue a tradition like that and it's nice that i was able to continue it this year with this figure so with that being said guys we are going to be taking a look at this guy so this guy is the third figure from diamond select in their brand new star wars line the other two being the darth maul and the boba fett so they did come out swinging with some heavy hitters right there and now we're getting a stormtrooper in my opinion i think they're setting us up for darth vader next i mean we got boba fett we got a stormtrooper the next logical character in my opinion would be darth vader but we'll just have to wait and see if i'm right or if i'm wrong so with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at all the accessories that this guy comes with so he does come with a total of three blasters count them three the one he does have in hand the classic typical stormtrooper blaster the heavy duty stormtrooper blaster as well as the imperial handgun blasters so you do get those three and the cool thing is you do also get a nice blast effect that does plug into each of those you do also get three alternate hands you get a pair of open hands a close grip uh trigger finger hand for your right hand as well as a wider right-handed trigger finger hand and a close grip c grip hand for your left hand so that you can grab the underside of the blaster and the last accessory that he does come with which is really fucking cool in my opinion is this imperial mouse droid i mean it's a total pack in extra but one that i absolutely love and will be definitely utilizing in my star wars toy photography when i'm doing stuff in that universe so that's pretty cool that they included this mouse droid i think that's just really fucking cool so with that being said guys why don't we go ahead and pull this guy forward so we can take a nice close look up at him so this is the diamond select version so he is not six inch rather i believe he is like seven inch uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't have a ruler with me right now, so uh, sorry guys, can't measure him, but he is taller than Black Series. So if you're thinking this guy's going to fit in with your Black Series, think again. Uh, so like I said, he does come with the typical Stormtrooper blaster, and they all have this dry brush uh, gunmetal look to him, which is really cool. He does come with the holster on the side, and his blaster does fit in. However, guys, be aware, it is an extremely tight fit, so... You can get it in, but it's super hard. You really have to push it in and work it in. And getting it out is just as much of a struggle. And the only reason I'm showing you guys this right now is because I've already taken the review picks. And when I display this guy, I'm going to display him with this gun in the holster. And he's going to be firing the heavy blaster. So uh, this is going to end up here anyways and most likely never come out from here again uh so <laughs> that's fun so anyways guys with that being said uh he is just a basic stormtrooper so he is just all white armor all around uh but the sculpt and the mold is pretty accurate and pretty good from what i can tell nothing too off from what i can see you know the helmet is a nice hard plastic unlike the black series one so you're not going to get any of that wonkiness and whatnot uh you do pay a little bit more for these guys but like i said they are taller the plastic is a little more firm and hard uh unfortunately you do get a little less articulation so why don't we go ahead and jump into articulation so his head will go all the way to the right all the way to the left you do get a little bit of uh, head wobble right there he will look down that far and look up basically just back at you in terms of his arms the armor is attached at the bottom so you can raise his arm up however not all the way into a t-pose just slightly under uh, so just be aware of that you do get 360 rotation at 
whoops at that shoulder right there no butterfly joint you saw the armor pop off but all you have to do to fix it is just simply press it back in so quick easy fix you do get bicep rotation right there like i said the articulation isn't the same as black series so you only get a single hinge elbow joint that is really hindered by that armor plate right there uh, you do get rotation at the wrist as well as hinging in and out uh, you do get rotation at the waist right there no very slight side to side uh, it's basically just right there no rotation oh wait you do get rotation at the bottom of the waist as well very slight but it's there looking at his leg articulation he will kick out that far he will kick forward that far he will kick back that far he does come with single hinge knees only to about 90 degrees right there his ankle articulation will go down that far it'll go up that far and he does come with a ball rocker hinge so like i said the articulation isn't the best however if you're just going to use this guy as a display piece he will look amazing on your shelf especially next to your uh diamond select boa fett and darth maul so i absolutely love everything that diamond select is doing with star wars in my opinion i am excited to see what else they do like i said in my opinion the next guy to come has to be darth vader i mean like i said they already gave us boba fett they gave us a stormtrooper i've i'm feeling like darth vader is next but we'll have to wait and see and who knows maybe i'll be talking about it on my next coffee and toys my weekly toy news toy talk podcast that premieres every sunday morning where we go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more with that being said guys go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that i took of this guy and if you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a like share comment and subscribe and as always have a great fucking day Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out. If you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of any figures I do reviews on for this channel, go ahead and check me out over on TikTok at Cool Figures. That's where I post all my unboxings. And join me every Sunday morning for Coffee and Toys, a weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news, reveals, pre-orders, and so much more. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jess the Bat Madrigal, a.k.a. The Buff Collector. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to this channel sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, Pokemon card, and toy print needs. And of course, use code COOLFIGURES at checkout for 10% off your order. V-Rare Store, check them out, guys.